Hello, and thank you for taking part in this demonstration presenting an introduction of EasyCost software. My name is Jean-Marc Pichiri. I am COO of EasyCost, and it is going to be my pleasure to present our cost estimating software to you. This presentation will be broken down into two parts. The introduction of the software, which I am going to begin in a few seconds. The live demonstration of the software through a concrete example. So what is EasyCost? What needs does EasyCost address? And why are our clients using EasyCost? EasyCost is a software for estimating costs through a statistical modeling of your historical data. What does that mean? It means that we are going to use your data, your historical data, to allow you to estimate the cost of a new product or service very quickly and with great precision. This approach is totally innovative and different from traditional approaches based on cost breakdowns and analytics. The statistical model used is not linear. It's based on random forest algorithm and decision trees. Our algorithm is 30 to 40 percent more accurate than the classical algorithms. In fact, we are going to use the characteristics of the product you have already produced to model them, correlate them, and thus calculate the cost of a new product with more or less similar characteristics. EasyCost therefore responds to needs such as saving time in order to respond more quickly to calls for proposals, speeding up design to cost and time to market, defining the technological orientations in relation with the cost of the final product during design phase. The majority of our clients are faced with a large number of internal and external requests for quotations and have less and less time to respond to them. Since analytical methods are too complex and too time-consuming, and to avoid losing contracts, they are often obligated to provide a cost that was not always precise. With easy cost, estimating is not only fast, but also accurate, since it is based on real and not theoretical data. Your data. So what does this mean in concrete terms? How does it work? Well, I am going to show you by turning to a live presentation of the software. First of all, EasyCost is a SaaS service, which means, among other things, that you don't need to install anything on your computer and that the simple internet browser is all you need to use it. That makes its deployment much easier, too. So I am going to log in with my login and my password. Each user has a user profile that allows him to access all or part of the platform data and all or part of the software functions. These profiles are generated by client-side administrators. You are therefore entirely autonomous within your company. Once logged in, we are on the software's home page. I am going to change to English to make it easier to follow for everybody. The software consists of a certain number of functions accessible through menus, which I am not going to explain in detail to you here, and classified into four major themes. Cost estimating, the main theme of easy cost, data mining, which allows you to analyze your data graphically, report creation, and a forum. You also have a recent activity wall, which shows the latest actions and data that you have saved with the software so that you can access it more quickly. In this introductory presentation of the software, we are going to focus on estimation, which is the principal theme. To do this, I am going to use a product family example that is very simple, but that will have the advantage of being familiar to everyone, namely, screws. Let's assume that I produced an estimate for a new screw that I saved and that the characteristics of this product have changed. The length and the raw material, for example. I am therefore going to reuse this estimate and calculate the new cost with the new characteristics of the product. To do this, I click on the document that I had saved to open it. When opening a saved estimate, EasyCost reloads all of the data from my product base, in this example, screws, with the latest updates and redisplays the characteristics that had allowed me to estimate the cost of my new product. The advantage is that we are sure each time that we have the latest version of the data, and therefore the most up-to-date data. Here I am on the estimation page, where I find the estimate for my product, i.e. $103.54, since I estimate the cost per thousand. This estimate was done by taking into account a historical database of 448 quotations. I'll come back to this in a few moments. And a certain number of cost drivers, which are, in fact, the characteristics of my product. Thus, my new screw is 4 mm in diameter, has a nickel finish, a hexagonal head, etc. Let's look at the length and the raw material, since this is the information that has changed. 
In fact, let's suppose that my product is no longer 15 millimeters long, but 20. So I just need to indicate 20. Easy Cost automatically calculates the new estimate and displays the result for me. We changed to $109.48. The material has also changed. We no longer have stainless steel, but steel. I select the raw material, and here, in the same way, Easy Cost estimates the cost of my product with this raw material. We are at $87.47. As you can see, the cost of my product is calculated very quickly, since it takes 1 to 2 seconds. This is the first benefit of Easy Cost. You enter the known characteristics of your product, and Easy Cost gives you its cost. If you want to know the impact of a change in a characteristic, you indicate it, and you have the new cost immediately. Aside from the obvious time savings when responding to a request, this means that Easy Cost can also be used during meetings and allows you to have information to make decisions immediately. So before continuing, one or two explanations. Cost drivers are technical and or functional characteristics of your product. The advantage of our method is that these are indicators that are internal to your company and that we do not use supplier indicators like machine rates, hourly rates, etc., which are often difficult to obtain. The reference quotation database corresponds to the products, here screws, that you have already had manufactured and whose characteristics and costs you know. You can also include estimates to enrich it. You are not obligated to have as many products. Our results demonstrate that as of 20 to 30 products, the software produces an entirely relevant estimate. Quite obviously, this is a statistical approach, so the more products you have, the more precise the result will be. Easy Cost gives you a level of estimating confidence, here 96%. This level of confidence is based on the quality of your reference system, of course, but also on the cost drivers that you have indicated. If you ask me to estimate the cost of a screw by giving me its length only, I am going to be able to do it, but with a very low level of confidence. Furthermore, you have an indication of the impact of each cost driver on the cost of your product. Thus, you see that the diameter of your screw accounts for 38% of the cost. You can also sort the cost drivers according to their importance, their impact on the cost. Here, the diameter is the most important then the length, then the finish, etc. That allows you to know what cost drivers to act on in order to change the cost. So let's continue with another highly appreciated function before I explain to you what we can do and what we see on the graph. Let's suppose that now I have the cost of my new screw, I want to modify the characteristics to have a cost of, let's say, $83. First solution, proceed by trial by changing the finish, for example. All I need to do is select another finish to see what the cost of my screw would be. The other solution is to indicate a target cost to Easy Cost so that it tells me which characteristics to change to get closer to this cost. This is what I am going to do here by indicating $83. For each cost driver selected, Easy Cost is therefore going to show me what value is necessary to get close to my target without changing the others. This is what we call reverse costing one cost driver. So it informs me, of course, that if I change the length, I am going to lower my cost. However, for example, if I have the possibility of changing the feed type, it tells me that with equivalent characteristics, by choosing the snake eyes drive instead of the hexagonal drive, if I apply this solution, Easy Cost selects the new characteristic for me. I can also automatically and very quickly determine which technical characteristic I need to change to get closer to my target. However, this is also used to define which supplier or which country is in the best position to achieve my objectives. So let's take a few moments to look at the graph and what it provides us. The graph corresponds to the graphic representation of your reference base. Therefore, each point represents one of the products that you have already had manufactured. This representation is done with the cost that you paid, which we call the real cost on the y-axis, versus the cost that we estimate that you should have paid on the x-axis. This means that each time you open a product family, Easy Cost not only allows you to estimate the cost of a new product, but calculates the cost that you should have paid for each product of your base. The green line represents the median. I am, moreover, going to position it with identical axes so that it's clearer. 
So this means that all the products that are above this median are products that we estimate having paid more for, and all the products situated below are products that we estimate having paid less for. So you can immediately identify these products in view of taking a certain number of actions with your suppliers, for example. The brown line represents your new product, the one being estimated. You can thus view its position compared to your historical products. So the easy cost graph is an entirely dynamic graph that helps you, of course, display information, but also query your database. For example, what is the impact of the raw material on the cost? All I need to do is right-click on the cost driver and display it on the graph. If I want to cross-check this information with the length, for example, right-click and display. In a few seconds, I can cross-check two indicators and obtain a graphical representation that can be interpreted immediately. And since we have focused on usability, I can simply, with the wheel of my mouse, zoom in on a position of my graph here around my new product, represented by the brown line, and query and display the characteristics of the nearby products in terms of cost. I can also select a certain number of products and move to the data table to display all of the information present in my database. For example, I am going to select these products, which are, moreover, considered suspects by the system. A suspect quotation is a quotation with one or more atypical characteristics. This identification is made automatically by EasyCost when the database is opened. I either search the lines selected or I isolate them by clicking on this icon to immediately see only what interests me. As you can see, EasyCost is an extremely operational product and very easy to use. This table therefore corresponds to your database. You can create filters, do searches, sort it, move columns, etc. Everything one expects to be able to do for this type of item. The last point that I would like to show you as part of this introduction is the possibility of graphically displaying an indicator of your base. For example, here I am going to display the finish. Thus, in one mouse click, I can access the representation of my products for a characteristic. And see, for example, here, that my products primarily have two types of finishes. In the same way, as for the estimation graph, I can represent two other indicators, such as the raw material, and thus see that there is a very strong correlation between material and finish and recross check it with the diameter, for example. So in three mouse clicks, I can cross check three different indicators in my base and thus better understand and see the impacts of one characteristic or another on the cost of my products. So that's what I wanted to present to you during this introduction. Obviously, there are other functions just as simple to use as the ones that I presented to you in EasyCost. What you need to remember about EasyCost is how fast, accurate, and easy it is to estimate the cost of a new product or service. Don't hesitate to contact us for more information, and we are available, if you wish, to conduct a no-cost test using your own data.